everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here with a super easy quilt block that uses just two inch squares. I sell a ton of two inch squares, so I know there are many of you out there who have them, and you might be always looking for different ways to use them. Now you absolutely do not need to start with two inch squares for this. It's a very simple block. It's just going to be a square in the center with some sashing and then corner stones. And you could just cut a center square and then put the sashing and corner stones on without having to use two inch squares. But I'm doing this specifically for those of you who have two inch squares and you want to use some up. What you're going to need is four two inch squares for the center, all the same print. Now, even though the print varies, this is the same print. I want to tell you guys, I have some of this. It's called Fossil Fern. It is not batik, but it looks like batik. But for those of you who love the look of batik but don't care for the feel of it, you're going to love this stuff because it's just regular cotton print, not batik, but it's beautiful. All right, four for the center, four for the cornerstones, and eight for the border around the block. Let's start with the center. We're just going to make a four patch out of these four squares. So I'm just going to send them through two at a time and then two more at a time. And since I like to chain piece, I'm going to also send through the border pieces two at a time. Those are the ones that you have eight of. These little guys are all done, the border pieces. We only want to put two together. We want four of these two together. And you can open those up and finger press or press um, with an iron if you prefer. So let me just put those aside. But the two center, well the four center squares that we did two together and then two together, we're going to open those up and we're going to create a four patch. So let me just finger press and finger press. Now I'm just going to put these together. Try to match up my intersection if I can. And so, while I'm right here, I'm going to open up one of these guys, finger press, these are the borders, and I'm going to add a cornerstone to one end. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to take another one, finger press, and put a cornerstone. Now take those two strips that have a cornerstone on one end and we're going to put a cornerstone on the other end of each of those strips. Now I'm going to go ahead and press everything open with the iron. So we have our centerpiece, we have two short borders and then we have the other two borders that have the cornerstones on them. Now this is where you can get frustrated because none of your intersections are going to match. So let me tell you this, don't worry about it. It'll look wonky and we love wonky, don't we? So I'm going to take my centerpiece and I'm going to add one of these two patches of border on the top and also on the bottom. And I can see that I'm uh, not straight. Things are, you know, not perfectly matching up. But that's all right. I'm going to just do the best I can with what I have. <laughs> I didn't even have nesting seams. The horror. <laughs> they didn't feel like nesting. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So one end has it and the other end has it. Ooh, I'll have nesting seams on this one. It is nice to have nesting seams because it's not as thick. We have this. 
I'm going to press. And I'm not trimming anything, you know? Things aren't perfectly even. I don't care. I'm going to take one of these guys now and add it to this end. And then the other one will go on this end. And if it's not matching up good, like if they're not the exact same length, I'm going to kind of center it a little bit. And I can see that my strip is not quite as long as this other piece. So I'm just going to, um, again, do the best that I can and lay it on there, kind of center it. So I have a little bit showing at the top and then a little bit showing at the bottom of that bottom piece. And the reason I don't freak out over that is because this block can be trimmed. See, I have some of this brown sticking out up here and some of the brown sticking out down there. So I'll be trimming that off. And I'm going to do the same shitty job on the other side. <laughs> I don't know why that uh, it's off by this much. It's because it's easy to do a shitty job. It really is. It, you know, just every little tiny fraction of a quarter inch seam allowance that isn't perfect, it's going to mess up your block if you have a lot of seams. Now I'm going to go press this beautiful art that I just created in a sloppy way, and then I will trim it, and then we will examine it together. You know, I like it very much. Yes, my intersections are not great. Uh, the center one is. That's like frigging perfect. And there's some others that are pretty good, but the cornerstones, they're not like perfectly lined up. But look at how cool that is and how colorful. Now, like I said, you can start with a square and then just add fabric top and bottom and then, you know, do the math by yourself and figure out what you need for strips and for cuts and then put little cornerstones. The other thing you could have done is, or we could have done, or I could have done, I tend to like to work like in the round all the time. So the four patch and then build around that. I find that I have a better chance of intersections matching. But you could lay out your squares. I don't know why I keep turning it. <laughs> I just want to make you dizzy. <laughs> you could just sew row by row. You know, lay it out and then row by row. Now, I like that this one is not scrappy, meaning there's a pattern here. It's the center all the same, these borders the same, and the cornerstones the same. But now you could make another square like this, have it have one center, one color border, and one color cornerstones. And then when you put it up to this one and you make rows, the cornerstones would all four be different. That would make a secondary pattern in your quilt, and those would look scrappy yet each individual block will pop. Or you also could add black sashing around this, border around that, whatever, and make each block stand out on its own. Or you could do them all exactly the same, and what's going to happen is you're going to get a secondary print of the cornerstones all being the same. I don't know. It's just hard to explain, and I don't feel like making a ton of blocks to show you. <laughs> I just wanted to give you an idea of what to do with two-inch squares. I absolutely love this. I love this fabric. My exclusive shoppers will be having it soon. I'm actually having a flash sale today, but they're not getting it today because I got it too late for today. But they will be getting it next weekend. And um, if you're watching this in the future, I'm sure that fabric is all gone by now. So um, if you ever want to be an exclusive shopper, details are down below. And I do sell stuff on eBay, but a lot of the stuff, most of the stuff sells out to my exclusive shoppers. However, do watch my eBay because I might be making some changes and I might have some uh, fabric for you guys too, not just always penny auctions. Not sure, haven't decided yet. And I guess that's it, I've said enough. Thank you so much for watching. I think I've said that like maybe three times. Bye, that's it, bye, bye.